I'm Tom Maloney with Lakeshore Public Radio 89.1 FM. It's Monday, September 28th, 2020. Stay tuned for the latest on a police-involved shooting in Gary over the weekend. President Trump is pushing back for a quick nomination for Amy Coney Barrett, and we're talking playoffs in baseball. Yes, that's right, the Cubs and Sox headed to the postseason. But first, a grand mansion in northwest Indiana that was visited by a parade of prominent guests before being turned into an upscale restaurant is meeting the wrecking ball after years of neglect. Architectural salvage professionals rescued chandeliers and other fixtures from the Calkins Brown House before demolition recently began in Valparaiso to make room for new housing. The four-story, 21-room mansion was built around 1860 and played host to such prominent guests as President William Howard Taft. The Times reports it was transformed in 1942 into a fine dining restaurant, the White House restaurant, which closed in 1995. It had been in disrepair for years. Police in Gary have shot and wounded a man after seeing him shoot and kill another man. Gary Police Spokeswoman Lieutenant Dawn Westerfield said officials responding to a report of gunfire at about 2.30 a.m. Sunday while dispersing a crowd outside a nightclub when they heard more gunfire. Westerfield says the officers then saw a gunman shooting at a man on the ground, at which point the officers opened fire and struck the gunman in the leg. The gunman was taken to a hospital where he was stabilized. The man on the ground, a 28-year-old, was pronounced dead at the scene. Authorities say three people have died after a traffic collision near the border of Lake and Porter counties. The crash occurred on U.S. 12 near County Line Road shortly before 11 p.m. Saturday. The Lake County Coroner's Office identified two of the victims as 36-year-old Jacqueline D. Aquina and 44-year-old Antonio Burks, both of Gary. The third person is currently listed as a John Doe. The cause and the manner of the death are pending for all three. Gary Fire Chief Sean O'Donnell says extraction had to be performed for the three victims. Indiana's public pension funds for state and local government employees, including teachers, has apparently weathered the financial market's volatility during the coronavirus pandemic, new data from the state shows. The General Assembly's Pension Management Oversight Committee heard Wednesday that the Indiana Public Retirement System increased its pension assets by 2.56% to $30.6 billion during the 2020 budget year, which ran from July 1, 2019 to June 30th of 2020. The Times reports that according to INPRS, the state's prepaid pension programs were 90.6% funded, an increase from their 88.1% funding status at the end of the 2019 budget year. President Donald Trump is pushing for quick confirmation of his Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett, a Hoosier, while his Democratic rival Joe Biden is imploring the Senate to delay voting on her nomination until after the November 3rd election to, quote, let the people decide, end quote. President Trump announced uh, President Trump's announcement of Barrett for the seat held by the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is launching a high stakes, fast tracked election season fight over confirmation of a conservative judge who is expected to shift the court rightward as it reviews health care, abortion access, and other hot button issues. Biden urged his former colleagues in the Senate to, quote, take a step back from the brink, end quote. Looking at your lakeshore weather forecast tonight, a 30% chance of scattered showers, mainly before 7 o'clock, otherwise mostly cloudy, with a low near 44. Tuesday, sunny skies, a high near 62. Breezy, though, with wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Wednesday, Wednesday, still breezy, mostly sunny skies, with a high near 67, with wind gusts up to 25 miles an hour. And Thursday, a 40% chance of rain in the afternoon, otherwise mostly sunny, a high near 59. In sports, the Cubs and White Sox are both off tonight before getting set for their opening round playoff matchups. The Sox will play the Oakland Athletics Tuesday at 2 p.m. The Cubs will take on the Miami Marlins in their best-of-three matchup starting Wednesday at 1 p.m. For Lakeshore Public Radio, 89.1 FM, I'm Tom Maloney. This has been your midday news update. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share.